All right, so the other day I sat with my kids and uh, watched TV. You're probably familiar with these um, reality shows uh, where they put a bunch of clueless people, put them on an island and make them do funny things and somebody wins a prize at the end. Well, there's a kids version of this, an animated kids version. It's called uh, Total Drama Island and um, the episode that we're watching was called uh, No Pain, No Gain. And there was one segment in there which uh, really, you know, left an impression with me. So I don't want to show you that, that section. And if your victim can last 10 seconds without saying uncle, you get eliminated instead. and nine one hundred thousandths of a million whatever it's not ten okay close shave right? close shave uh, well let's just have a really really close look here so there's uh, two main characters really there's Jeff the guy with the hat who tries to stay in the barrel for 10 seconds and there's the uh, game host okay what does the game host say well the first thing he says is nine and nine one hundred thousandths of a millionth well, if you actually write down this number, it looks like this, which has some resemblance, but uh, it's not really the same. And also, you know, with the other thing he says, uh, it's not 10. Well, I'm not so sure. Maybe if they had invested in a more expensive clock there on the wall, you know, one where kind of digits go on forever, uh, what we would have seen is, uh, you know, the nines going on forever. And if that's the case, well then 9.999 with the nines going on forever, that's actually 10 in maths. <laughs> so then Jeff uh, would have won, right? So happy Jeff. Uh, well, problem with this is even if it had been like this, um, the game host is probably not convinced. I mean, he seems to be pretty clueless when it comes to math, so he probably never heard of you know, 10 being equal to 9.999. In fact, most people haven't heard of this, and even if they have heard of it, they don't believe it. Right? So nobody believes that 10 is equal to uh, 9.9999 and so on. So what I'd like to do today is um, help Jeff win the prize by convincing somebody like this that 10 is re really equal to 9.999. So how are we going to do this? Well. I mean, this guy is clueless, right? So probably any time something mathy comes his way, he reaches for the calculator. Let's give him a calculator. There's a calculator. And ask him to punch in 10. So he's going to punch in 10. And then he's going to divide by 3. And we get the familiar 3.33333. And of course, I mean, even that guy knows that if he's invested in a more expensive calculator, one with digits going on forever, uh, this would actually look like this. So what we've just done here is basically say 10 divided by 3 is equal to 3.333 going on forever. Right? And he'll probably be pretty okay with this. Um, so what do we do next? Well, we're almost there. We just have to multiply by 3 now. Right? So what happens to the left side? If we multiply 10 divided by 3 by 3, we get 10. And on the right side, well, everybody, one of those 3s gets multiplied by 3, so that gives 9s all over. And so we get our result. So Jeff's happy and he can probably claim the prize. Except if the game host is a little bit cluey, he'll actually have noticed that we just kind of tricked him. <laughs> so a lot of people are actually okay with this, right? So if, if you actually just want to shut up somebody, you know, somebody doesn't believe that 10 is equal to 9.99, you tell them this, they're probably okay with it, you move on. But actually you've cheated a bit. Because, I mean, who says that this is actually equal, 10 divided by 3, why is this equal to 3.333? Just because the calculator kind of spits out more and more 3s, right? I mean, you would think, well, yeah, okay, there's more and more 3s, but we really, we get closer and closer to 10 divided by 3, but we really, really never get there somehow, right? The same sort of thing with this, 10 and 9.999 kind of, you know, goes on forever. It's not a real argument. So basically, these two things are really saying the same, right? So if you believe this, you should believe this, but if you don't believe this, you also shouldn't believe that. So it's really saying the same thing. Anyway, so 
Well, maybe, maybe that's not quite it, right? That's not quite it. It's probably good enough for this guy, but uh, for a bit more cluey game host, he needs a bit more convincing. And, you know, some other people also need a bit more convincing. So there is another argument which is actually uh, a lot nicer. Uh, with that one, you actually start with just saying, well, 9.999, that's some sort of number, okay? Some sort of number. Now we want to figure out what it is, right? Um, so we'll just call it for the moment, because we don't know what it is, we call it the mystery number. So the mystery number is 9.999. And what comes next is, um, I've actually tried this on my kids, the one who sat next to me, and um, you know, they buy it. <laughs> but anyway, let's just go for it, right? So uh, we've got this here, and now we'll just do some kind of familiar manipulation. So we will just multiply this thing by 10, okay? So then we get, of, of course, 10m, 10 times the mystery number. What do we get on the other side? Well, whenever you see a number like this with a decimal point, and you multiply that by 10, the decimal point kind of moves, right, to the right, one position to the right. So all of a sudden we see a 99 and then a tail of nines, okay? So we see this. And now it's really, really important to uh, note that these nines go on forever. There is no last nine, right? So when the shift occurs, whether the decimal point moves or whether all the nines move, depending on how you look at it, uh, you know, there's no end to it. There's nothing kind of shifting forward. It's kind of all staying an infinite tail of nines. Um, same up here, right? So that really, on the, on the right here, we see exactly the same. This infinite tail is, is repeated uh, down here, okay? Now we, we, we subtract the bottom from the top. Okay, and then what do we get? Well, on that side, we get 9m. And on this side, well, 99 minus 9 is 90. And then the two tails are identical, so they just kind of cancel out. So what we get here is 90 point lots of zeros. And we don't worry about the zeros, so we can just take them away. And now we just divide by 9, and we get m is equal to 10, right? And, well, Jeff's happy because <laughs> we've just shown that 9.99 is equal to 10. Right? We, sh we start out with saying, well, we don't know what it is, you know, and then we've got these kind of logical steps, and at the end of this chain of logical steps, we come to the conclusion that actually m is equal to 10, something we've seen before. Okay, pretty bulletproof. Um, uh, convinces many people, convinces mathematicians. There's actually no cheats in here, right? There is... You know, there is, you know, infinity in there. But if we want to make sense of infinity in some sort of way, I mean, this is a, this is a proper way of doing it. But still, I mean, there's, there's still, like this guy, he, he watches me do this, and he's probably still not absolutely comfortable with what I've been saying here. And he's, he's sort of right. And so what I would like to do is, um, well, I mean, I've actually been looking at lots of people kind of do explanations of this, and I'm not saying anything different here. Um, so at this point in time, when, when people are finished with this, they kind of think, well, I've, I've now made it absolutely crystal clear that uh, you know, we're, we're talking about the same thing, 10 and 9.999. But there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people who, who somehow get lost here in the process. So what I'd like to do is kind of go to mathematical slow motion. Okay? I want to do the whole thing again in mathematical slow motion and really take any step like really, really slowly and make absolutely sure that everybody, you know, is on the same uh, boat here. So let's, let's just do it one more time, okay? So the first thing that kind of confuses people is, well, they look at this expression here and, well, there, there's, there's all sorts of things going on. I mean, they know what 9.999 is, but what is actually this, this infinite thing there, right? What is this infinite thing? So this is kind of a, a name for something infinite. And let's just, let's just really, really, write down what it is, right? So we're kind of one step removed from what the actual object here, the mathematical object that we're talking about. So let's just um, go again, mystery number is equal to that. And then let's just see what are the individual nines actually standing for, okay? So the first nine, well, this stands for nine, so there's nothing special here. The second nine, what's the second nine? The second nine is basically 0 0.9 or 9 tenths. So the second nine really stands for nine tenths. So we have gets nine, and then we add to it nine tenths, okay? So we know what nine tenths is, so just add to it. What about the third one, right? The third nine. The third nine is nine hundredths. So we have to add this. And then we've got nine thousandths, this next one. And we keep on going like this, right? So it keeps on going like this. So that's what it really is. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about a nine, 
and to this nine we add nine tenths and then nine hundredths and so on. And we keep on going, right? We keep on going. We don't stop anywhere, right? There's no last, last term here. Okay, that's what it is. So let's just deal with this, right? So we've got a pretty good idea what this is. You can actually visualize it, right? Okay, now we said I want to multiply this by 10, okay? So we multiply this by 10. So again, left side is 10 times m, okay? Right side. Now we take every single one of those guys and multiply it by 10 and see actually what happens, okay? Okay, first one. 9 times 10 is 90, okay? Need a bit more space here. We put the 90 up there. All right, now, next one. 9 divided by 10 times 10. Let's just write it down, okay? So 9 divided by 10 times 10. That's what it is, right? You can see there's a... There's a 10 at the top, 10 at the bottom, they just cancel out. What's left over is a 9, All right? So there's a 9. Now we take the next term here, 9 divided by 100 times 10. Let's just write it down, okay? 100 is 10 times 10, okay? Then 10 at the top, 10 at the bottom, cancel out. What's left over? 9 tenths. Let's do this one more time. We're in mathematical slow motion, okay? <laughs> 9 divided by 1,000, okay, times 10. 1,000 is 10 times 100, so there we go, 10 goes away, um, 10, 10 goes away, <laughs> and we've got 9 on hundreds. And, I mean, at this point in time, it should be pretty clear that this is, keeps on going, right? Forever, right? Forever. So it's really important to see that whatever you see down there, you'll also see at the top. All this stuff here, whatever you see here to the, to the right, will also come up on the top. Right? So, for example, so 9 divided by 1 million is somewhere there. It's also up there. Right? Now, let's just ask whether 9 divided by Googleplex is up here. Yes, it's up there because down here we've got 9 divided by 10 times Googleplex, which when you multiply by 10 gives 9 divided by 1 Googleplex, okay? So that these tails are exactly the same. We're in mathematical slow motion. Okay, now we're doing the minus business, right? So bottom from the top, 9m on this side. On that side, well, everything here is doubled up, right? Everything here is doubled up, so it just goes away when we do the subtraction. And the only thing that stays over here is, is the 90, okay? And then we divide by 9, and we get, again, 10. Since we started out with 9.999, that means that 10 is equal to this. And this is a pretty good argument. Um, so, I mean, there's still this, this business of you know, having an infinite sum. And you have to be careful with infinite sums. All kinds of terrible things can happen. But as far as infinite sums go, um, you know, what we're actually dealing with here is about as tame as it can be. And mathematicians have given this a very, very um, you know, close look. And I can promise you, I'm a mathematician. You know, we've been very careful, and what we're doing here is is okay. <laughs> okay, anyway, so he believes it now. Jeff gets his prize, but also, he's also convinced now, for example, that 1 is equal to 0.99999, and for example, 0.3 is equal to 0.299999, and also any, any kind of terminating uh, number like this can be actually written in the second way with lots of nines. So you just take this last digit here and um, you know, it decreases by one, so that turns into a six, and then add lots of nines. So all the same stuff, right? all the same stuff. And, well, I've succeeded in convincing this guy, and he's actually so convinced that he's now agreed to changing the whole episode, to give it an alternate, alternative ending. Um, so from now on, whenever you see this episode on TV, the alternative ending to the scene is actually going to look like, like this. Jeff's happy. I'm happy. Hopefully everybody here is happy. <laughs> if not, let me know. <laughs>